did the linden tree down at the Bristol Old Vic, where I was working at the time. And uh, Priestley came down to, to see it. And uh, he, um, he came down, he was involved in, in some of the rehearsals, but he, he, uh, he, I'd never met him then, but he, um, uh, he was at the dress rehearsal. And uh, we all had to come on singly in our costumes, and I came on with a, an old sweater and a skirt and everything. And I stood there in the middle, and I heard this boy say, that's bloody awful. <laughs> and uh, it, it, it was just, that was his, my first meeting with, with him, really. But the director afterwards came around and said, he didn't mean you, Jane, he just meant your costumes, no. <laughs> I understand you're dissatisfied with the money you're getting here. Is that so? Yes, sir. How much are they getting at the moment? They're averaging 22 shillings and sixpence a week, sir. Well, that's the usual rate in the industry at present, isn't it? Yes, sir. You see? How much do you think you ought to get? 25 shillings, sir. Well, I'm sorry, but it can't be done. Why can't it be done? Did you say, why can't it be done? Yes. It was thrilling to get it. I was very pleased to get it. And, um, but actually, I think we just worked so well together as a group that it, it, it didn't feel, um, it didn't feel like a pressure. I had to look at the time. I've got to go. I shall only just catch that last train. To run for it. Good night, Daisy. Good night. I thought of her as one character being affected by these various situations that she, that she found herself in or uh, uh, chose to be in. They all treated her abominably, but, but like that particular class, the middle class particularly in a way, because um, they had moved up. I mean, Prisley himself moved uh, within Bradford, although he spoke that there, was no, there were no um, sort of class barriers in uh, Bradford. But, in fact, there were, because he, he, when he was... Well, his mother died when, when she, he was two, and they lived... His father was a schoolmaster, and they lived um, for a long time in the poorer areas, with the sort of the back-to-back -back sort of black little houses, you know. And then when his father became quite successful, um, they moved into the more middle-class area. So <clears throat> he must have experienced something even though it might not have been, I mean, he probably had still had links with the people in the, the poorer area, you know, and had friends and relations probably, you know, but he must have experienced a difference in that move, I think. Two to this, I'll pay his fare. You know, that was extraordinarily kind of you. No. If I give you this... No, I haven't you got could... 19 and 10 pence change either. It doesn't matter. Well, of course it matters. It's just these little things that do matter. By the way, where are we? Turning into Elmer Bridge Road. This is where I get out. So do I. I always get out somewhere in Elmer Bridge Road. That's just silly. <laughs> He was lovely to work. I had no idea. He became a, a big film director and a, uh, an author, and uh, I, had no idea, I had no idea about that at the time. Of course, he wasn't. He was an actor then. He was he was shy, I thought, and so was I. You know, so we didn't. Have, and there wasn't much time to have a, an interchange with uh, with them as people. You know, the the cast. You know, the, we were we were already the actors as when we got there. Actually, I didn't read it when we were doing it, uh, deliberately, really, because I didn't want to know what it was like, you know, before, because we, this is what we were going to have to do and what we were going to have to play. I'm glad you said that. I was hoping you would. But I can't marry you, Eric. It, it wouldn't be right. 
You see, you don't love me. You were lonely. And so was I. That's all it ever amounted to. No, I don't know what I'm going to do. But you haven't got any money. How? Oh. Oh, promise me you won't do anything silly. I, I know you don't want to let me down, but you, you mustn't do anything stupid. It was a class divide. You know, it was all these people in this one family. We're all responsible for one another. But we don't realise that the little things we do have big influences on other people. We don't, we don't realise that, and I think that's the main message of the film. Well, give it to me. Well, come along. All right, I won't have this hat or any other. Oh, but Miss Burns... I'm not going to sit here trying on hats for your amusement. But I assure that you... That girl was grinning her head off. Don't you teach them any manners? Eva, you won't. No, Miss Francis, I wasn't, and it isn't my fault. I'm going to report you for impertinence. Well, I must say, that's unfair. I, I, I loved working on it. I just... I, I loved the rehearsals. I loved working with the other actors. They were a lovely bunch, actually. It was just... Uh, it was... I can't, I can't describe it, really. It's just good, really rich working experience.